We're going to look at a couple examples of basically how to draw an angle in what they call standard position. So our first angle is a 5 pi 6. So as you can see, it's a positive angle. So what that tells us is we're going to rotate in the counterclockwise position. So we're going to start from our initial side, which are positive x-axis. Our first question is, do we get out of the first quadrant? So for us to go from here to here, our angle has to be more than one half. Well, six or five six is more than a half. To go from the uh, positive y-axis to the negative x-axis, uh, you would need another half, or basically one whole. Well, five six is less than one whole. So we know our angle is going to terminate in the second quadrant. Now, in the middle of our second quadrant is one fourth. So one half and one fourth is basically three fourths. Five six is actually more than three fourths. So we would rotate past half that uh, nice little quadrant. I may have not drawn a, done a good job, but if this is the middle, then our notch would be over here. So it would be the notch closest to the x-axis and not in the middle of the quadrant. Negative 3 fourths. This time we're going to rotate in the opposite direction. So uh, it is larger than a half, so we'd get out of the fourth quadrant. However, it's not larger than a whole. And since it's a fourth, we would actually be right in the middle. So of our notches, it would be the one right in the middle of the nice little quadrant. And then 7 pi thirds. So it's a positive angle. That's one half. Seven thirds is more than a half. That's a whole. That would be three thirds. So it's more than one and a half. In fact, it's more than a full circle. So a full circle would be two pi or six thirds. So we have one more third to go. Well, a third is more than a fourth. So if this is half of your nice little quadrant, and then that would be basically less than that. So we would terminate right here. So just drawing a couple angles in standard position.